hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to learn how to use code first migration in asp.net mvg5 application and we will discuss it in detail and further uh, we will connect our database to SQL server and will apply some migrations and check result for that so first of all let's get started and go back to the visual studio so first step I will create a new project so I will go into the file and click new select new and will select project from there and I will name our project is code first migration let's click on ok here we have different templates so I will select MVC template and change authentication to use individual user account the reason i am using this individual user account so that i will get the database connection and db context by default for asp.net identity so i will reuse that code so that we will solely focus on uh, enable migrations and migration generations apply migrations to database so that all the concept will be cleared okay now i will click on okay and here is our new project is creating so let's wait for it it is taking some time so our new project has been created so first of all i will close this startup page and i will go into the solution explorer and here we have a model folders and in models folder we have identity models so in the identity models we have application db context class here we will use our all the table entities and that we will make for example a student class or an employee class etc so for this purpose uh, we will use this application db context and if we go into the web.config file you can see here the connection string which is used in the local database so what i will do i will replace it with my connection string that connect with the sql server so I have already copied this connection string so I will remove this one and will paste my connection string that I copied here. So here as you can see we have connection string with data source dot SQL express this is my system instance you have uh, different uh, instance in, on your PC and here is the database name and I will use windows authentication so there is no username and password provided so let's format it a bit and let's save it so first step we need to do in code first migration is to enable migrations for the project so if uh, here is the package manager console so we need to type the command here for enabling migration and if you don't find here this option you can go in the tools and in the tools new get package manager and here is the package manager console you can click on it and this window will open so um, i will type the command to enable migration let's type enable dash migrations and i will press enter and what this command is gonna do it will enable the migrations for the our current project so that we will able to generate new migrations and apply that migration on the database it is generating our migration it may take uh, some time it is checking if the db context already added on sql server or not so it is the first step in our migration so here is the configuration file generated so to verify this that enable migrations has completely worked or not 
you can go in the solution explorer and here we have a migrations folder and in migrations folder we have configuration file so if we have this configuration file exists in the project then our code first migration has already been enabled so what i will do next i will close this and let's generate a migration for first run as uh, you know we have selected individual user account while creating a project so uh, uh, that project will provide asp.net identity uh, pre default user tables role tables in the system so now uh, i will type a migration so to add a new migration we need to type this command add migration and press enter and then it will ask for the name so i will name it first run and will press enter so it will build our project and will provide the first migration and after generation we have a we will have a look that what it is generated for us so let's have a look it is generated the first migration and if you can go in the migration folder and here we will find our first migration so in the first migration here is the some code just like create table asp.net roles and this is its column names primary key indexes here we have different migrations and this all written in the up command sorry up method and all we have the up alternative down method so that if we roll back uh, in the future or for a specific purpose we want to go to a specific migration so we will apply this migration and it will execute further so that if uh, in up method we have a create table methods and in down method we have drop tables or drop indexes method so i hope you understand this logic so now i will close this migration and we'll go to the package manager console and the next step is to apply this migration on the database and as you know we have already uh, connected our system project to the sql server i have provided this connection string so i will go into the package manager console and will apply this migration to the database so what i will type i will type update dash database so i will press enter and what it will do it will create the database and some tables that defined in the migrations into the sql server let's wait for it to complete and our migration has successfully applied to the database so let's go to the sql server and here i will connect uh, sql server so now it is connected successfully and i will go into the database and in the database we have a code first database and we have now default asp.net identity tables so uh, it is very easy to understand if you follow the proper step first we need to enable migrations and second we need to add migration and third one is the apply database so now what i will do next i will create some more table uh, in the database to understand and generate uh, another migration to apply this to the database so i will right click on the model folder and will add a student class here so i will type student okay and in the student class i will t uh, add some properties so I will add interior student ID and second one is a string a student name and third one will be a string of father name and last one will be a student class okay so I uh, that's it for the student class but in the, here is the more important concept to understand uh, this is the student class it will generate the table in our sql server as a student name and uh, how do we know the primary key of the student class so we have to follow them some conventions of entity framework so 
if we have written the id only id here what it will do it will create this id as a primary key in sql server or or what we will do we will uh, make this property as a class name and id so it will automatically generate the primary key if we will need to put this uh, is the different name uh, except student id or id then we will need to provide the key here so it will consider the uh, primary key in the sql server so i will add the key here and uh, i i've already followed the convention here as class name student and add the id here so i will not need this uh, but uh, let's make it place to there okay and next step we want to do i will go into the identity models i will add the student table reference here if we don't provide the reference of our student entity here then it will not generate the table in our database so we will need to type pop virtual virtual db set db set and will provide the type of the entity so we have an student class and i will type a student here and i will add this property name as students so what it will do it will generate the student table in application db context and application db context we have the default connection so default connection is connected to our sql server database so let's go back to the visual studio and let's build this uh, our project is building so now what i will do we will add migration so first step is to add migration and will provide name is add student and tt okay so now what it will do it will generate a student identity migration in our project as you can see we have an student id which is nullable false and identity true and a student name type of string and a student class and the primary key of a student and what uh, it is doing in the drop uh, down uh, down fold uh, down method sorry it is dropping our tables review a student so let's close this and let's apply this migration to the database so what i will do i will type the update update dash database and will press enter and let's see it is working properly or not or it is applying properly on our database or not so we have successfully applied the migration on our database so let's go back to the sql server and verify this let's select the project and we'll refresh it from here so i will click on this so now it is refreshed and as you can see we have a student table and we have a student table and with columns a student id as a primary key not null student name father name a student class and in the keys we have a student key so that's uh, the code first migration how it works it is very simple if you follow the steps it is very easy so now further you can uh, experiment on this you can go to the student name and will and you can add some new columns here or remove some columns here then go to the package manager console add migration and it will generate the migration and you can apply it to the database so that's it for the video guys and i hope i hope you uh, it you find this video helpful if you find this video helpful kindly share this video like this video and subscribe my channel and i will upload further useful tutorials and videos for you guys thank you for watching